Hey, what's up everyone? Mac Murdoch here from OPT, and can you believe it? It is spring already. That means warmer weather, longer nights, and a whole slew of targets to image in the sky. And in this video, we're gonna be going over the top 15 targets to image this spring. Springtime also means we're in galaxy season, which is when we're looking away from the center of our galaxy out into the universe. During this time of year, there's very little nebulae to shoot, but tons of galaxies. And not only are we gonna mention the best targets to image, but we're gonna mention what focal length to shoot them at, and I'll even throw in a few personal recommendations of what telescopes, filters, and accessories that will be very helpful. These focal lengths are meant to have your target fill the majority of the frame. So don't worry, if you have a shorter scope, you can still get these targets and it will still be awesome. Now keep in mind, just like the winter targets video, all focal lengths in this video are based off a micro four thirds sensor, which is in cameras like the ZWO ASI 1600. So this will change depending on what camera you're shooting with. But to make it easier on you, we've included some tools in the description to help you with your specific gear. All right, let's get started. So the first object on our list is by far the biggest and brightest one out there. You can capture it with one gentle click of the mouse. This is the like button galaxy. You can find this target under the video and it's most spectacular because of its interactive nature. If you click this object, the galaxy reacts with its glowing emission pixels, getting it excited and turning it blue. So if you wanna win an easy A-Pod, go ahead and capture the like button galaxy and its neighbor, the subscribe button. All right, let's get into our list. Starting off with our first pair, we have M81 and M82, also known as the Bodes and Cigar Galaxies, which is located in Ursa Major about 12 million light years from Earth. These two targets are broadband LRGB objects rich in hydrogen alpha data and are best imaged between the focal length of 600 and 950 millimeters. So pick yourself up a hydrogen alpha filter to get the bright red parts of these objects. This shot was taken with an Explore Scientific 127 at 952 millimeters and it fills the frame nicely. At number two, we have the Pinwheel Galaxy, also an Ursa Major about 20 million light years from Earth. Another great RGB target that is rich in hydrogen alpha as well. Picking up that extra bright nebula really adds to the image. You can see in this image how the hydrogen alpha really brings out the bright nebula in the galaxy. The pinwheel galaxy is best shot at about 700 to 1000 millimeters. At number three, we have M51, the Whirlpool Galaxy, located about 31 million light years from Earth in the constellation of Canes Venetici. I think that's how you say it. This incredible target is actually two separate galaxies interacting with each other. Events like this take billions of views to complete. And you can capture this one best in broadband at a focal length of about 1200 to 2000 millimeters. Now I just wanna jump here and say for these broadband LRGB targets, we highly recommend that you use a light pollution filter if you live in a light polluted area. While there's no substitute to a super dark Bortle one sky, Filters like the Optolong L Pro are perfect for taming some of that unwanted light pollution glow in your image. Cool thing about the L Pros is that it also comes as a clip-in filter for your DSLR. So just clip it in and start shooting. Up next is the beautiful spiral galaxy M63, also known as the Sunflower Galaxy. This faint yet beautiful target is best shot in broadband at a focal length of 1200 to 2000 millimeters. Being located relatively close to Ursa Major, 29 million light years from Earth makes it a great challenge target. For targets that require a good amount of focal length, you definitely wanna make sure that you are accurately polar aligned, balance and guiding definitely helps as well. Be sure to check out our video up here on the QHY Pole Master and how you can use it to get perfect polar alignment in under five minutes. At number five, we have the Leo Triplet, AKA the M66 group. This galaxy trio consists of M65, M66, and NGC 3628 galaxies, located in the Leo constellation. You can catch all three of these targets in a focal length between 600 and 900 millimeters. This is the one I shot with the ASI 1600 MM Pro and the Explore Scientific 127. NGC is also known as the Hamburger Galaxy. Now I know what I'm having for lunch. Moving on to number six, we have the Sombrero Galaxy. The Sombrero Galaxy lies about 31 million light years from Earth in the constellation of Virgo. This target is best imaged around 1500 to 2000 millimeters. This wonderful galaxy is a favorite to many, 
And here's an image taken with the Hubble Space Telescope. After that, we've got Markarian's chain. This giant cluster of galaxies can be captured in one frame at a focal length of 250 to 500 millimeters. This is seriously one of the most beautiful spectacles in the night sky. Looking up and seeing hundreds of galaxies, maybe 30 of them with a good significant amount of detail. Check out this image by our very own OPT family, Brian Fulda, taken on one of our favorite telescopes, the Radian Raptor 61. At number eight, we have the Needle Galaxy, about 50 million light years away from Earth. This beautiful bright colored galaxy is a great broadband target and can be imaged for the focal length of 1500 to 2000 millimeters. But like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, these are just rough estimates that will mostly fill the frame. So here's an example that I took at 952 millimeters. At number nine, we have our first nebula, the Owl Nebula. This planetary nebula is rich in hydrogen, helium, oxygen, nitrogen, and sulfur. You can capture this target at a focal length of 2000 millimeters or higher, which makes it a challenging target. But let's be real with ourselves here. We didn't get into astrophotography because it was easy. That being said, there are ways to make astrophotography easier like smashing the like button. With one simple swoop and a click of the like button and you are one step away from winning an A-pod. How easy was that? Our next nebula target is the Ring Nebula, located in the constellation Lyra about 2300 light years away from home. You can capture this planetary nebula in both broadband and narrowband at a focal length of 3000 millimeters and above. To shoot these small targets, a telescope like a Celestron Edge HD 11 or 14 inch is a perfect match to get up and close with its 2800 to 3900 millimeters of focal length. The cool thing about these planetary nebulas is that it's a good idea of what our solar system will look like in 5 million years from now when our sun sheds its outer layers and turns into a white dwarf. At number 11 is the Dumbbell Nebula, another beautiful planetary nebula, much like the Ring Nebula, located in the constellation Volpecula and around 1300 light years away. Our OPT family, Diana and Rafal, actually shot this nebula at 450 millimeters with an incredibly easy to use smart scope, the Unicellar EV scope. You can watch that object come alive on your smartphone or even your eyepiece. To watch that video, check out the link right over here. This target can be shot in both narrowband and broadband. If you're doing narrowband, make sure to pick up a lot of HA and O3 data. Up next at number 12 is M106, or NGC 4258, which is around 25 million light years from Earth. M106 is super colorful, especially when you add in HA data. This broadband target is best imaged around 800 to 1200 millimeters. Don't forget, with any of these targets, you can shoot them with an IR cut filter to help tame your stars in atmospheric distortion. It's not gonna make a crazy world of difference, but definitely noticeable. Check out the astronomic UV IR cut filter. It's perfect for deep space and great to use on the moon to manage the seeing a little better. After that, we have the Cat's Eye Nebula. This nebula is difficult to capture, but definitely worth it in the end. Check out this incredible image by Jason from the vast reaches taken on the Celestron 8-inch Edge HD. The Hubble Space Telescope also did a brilliant shot of this image. At number 14, M83, the Southern Pinwheel Galaxy. Definitely one of my personal favorite targets because of its brightness and beautiful colors. This galaxy can be captured between 1500 and 2000 millimeters. It is located at the tip of the constellation of Hydra and is 15 million light years away from Earth. As a thank you for tapping the like button and making it this far, we've included some free raw data of the Southern Pinwheel Galaxy in the description below, provided by astrophotographer extraordinaire Matt Dietrich. Feel free to download it and play around. And finally, at number 15 is the Great Hercules Cluster, M13. This target can be captured between 1,000 and 1,500 millimeters, located in the Hercules constellation, 22 million light years away from Earth. Several hundred thousand stars light up that region, letting you see this cluster with your naked eye. And that about just covers it, guys. Was there one that we didn't mention in this list that you were really excited about? Let us know in the comments below. And just as a friendly reminder, we've included some tools in the description to help determine the best focal lengths for your camera. 
We've also included links to all the telescope, camera, and filters that we've mentioned in this video. If you guys like this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe. My name is Mac Murdoch here with OPT, and we'll see you in the next video. Clear skies.